our YouTube. So this video is gonna come before the the part. Uh, I started making the. I'm gonna spoil it for a little bit. I'm gonna already started working on the hood, uh, but I'm not gonna show y'all that part of the truck in front of me. <laughs> so, but this video is about the uh, the fuel gauge that I got, the Equus one. Let me go show y'all that part number and stuff. There you go. That's the part number. It was really simple to put it on. Hook up to the wine. So what I had before is for the illumination. The white was the power. You can tell by the red and all these other ones connected. The ground, believe it or not, instead of making more splices, the ground that I needed for the voltage, uh, which is that blue one right there, hooked it up with the negative on the fuel gauge and then hooked up the ground <laughs> for the illumination to one big single ground that goes to all the other grounds. So, I mean, ground is ground, regardless. The power would be different. So the, uh, the gauge power, which is this one right here, this red wire, connects to the voltometer. The factory wiring harness, or for the instrument cluster, the voltometer was connected through all the gauges the to through the 12 source the 12 volt source power so that one remember the power for the uh the gauge and the voltometer that measures how much voltage is in the system is connected to the other gauges like the tack and the speedometer which is uh which i uh well yeah i can't well, y'all won't be able to see it uh but I had a splice, but that did not work. And it's connected to the pink wire on the factory harness. And then the sending unit, which is this third one right here, red wire, have it all the way running to this splice over here. The factory purple wire, which is the fuel sending unit, uh, signal, whatever. Uh, there's only one of them on, on the gauge cluster that's for fuel. And that's the one that you use on the gauge. And to prove it that actually works. There you go. It is somewhat empty because I only put five gallons of gas when I bought this truck. And then you see the voltometer is now reading what it's supposed to. So to give you another update, I'm going to make this video a little bit more longer. <laughs> um... I'm going to go get five more gallons of gas tomorrow, maybe 10 so I can fill her up a little decency, the decent amount so I can see how much, you know, how much fuel and if it works correctly, but it is reading something. So, like I said, I don't know how much gas I have left in this tank, but I only put in five and I don't know if this is a 20 or 25 gallon capacity. Sadly, this truck doesn't have the... Um, it has the owner's manual, but doesn't have the capacity for this truck. I mean, it probably does. I just have to go read through it. But, uh, yeah, that's how I wired this up. It looks confusing, but, um, trust me on the big rigs, the 18 wheelers, most of it, it's exactly the same. But instead of me splicing into the factory harness, it all be factory. It'll be all neat. But in this case, it's all uh reeky garage special here <laughs> but like i said all the grounds go to one ground and all the power for instance like for these two because these two are electrical uh they go to one big power so is those other two but since these other these two on this right side of the panel which is the volt is the uh, temperature all uh, the water temperature and the um oil pressure those don't have anything except for the illumination lights. But until then, I mean, it all works. It reads something. The next gauge, and the last gauge for now, <laughs> for now, is this uh, glow shift um, transmission temperature gauge. I bought this on Amazon. I can leave the link when I finish doing the other part of the video. Uh, let's see, where's the part number? There's the part number. So if you wanna put one of these on your 4L60, this is the part number and there and it is a whole kit but the sensor that comes in that kit is too long and so they made this one which is a stubby version there's all that's the uh the part number as well 
and I'll be making a whole separate video for this. Uh, the gauge, I will put it in and stuff, but the wiring and the way to hook it up. Um, there's only a few videos specifically talking about this gauge and how they set it up. One guy, he spliced it in the cooler lines, and I was like, mm, there gotta be a way. And then when I saw uh, this guy and he showed this part number in like a, f a few frames, I paused it, screenshot it, and I managed to track this one down. When I tracked this one down, I tracked this other one down. So, because the so-called other YouTubers who made the video about installing the temperature gauge on the 4L60, they didn't really uh, show or even link this gauge down in the description, which I will for y'all because I care about y'all. So, those two. Uh, but yeah, so, like I said, you're not seeing in front of the, of, the, of, the, of the cab right now. So, but yeah, I'm going to get... Another five gallons, maybe ten gallons worth of gas to fill her up to see how much it'll show and see if it's accurate. You know, it said it was good for up to ninety six, which I believe is true because a ninety six fuel pump can be interchanged with a ninety five to get the vortex pressure, fuel pressure. That's what you do for performance, quote unquote. But uh, ninety seven and up, it has a whole different system. It doesn't the electrical and the fuel lines are not the same because these are threaded, I believe. And those are just like clips on, clip on, but we'll see. And then uh, to top off this whole entire uh, evening, other than the hood, uh, I've been trying to install the uh, s the single beam headlights, which I'll get on to that when I upload that video. Uh, but there was a short, or there was something that right managed to track it down to this wire that goes to this junction box down here uh there it is and i saw one of the wires here's the wire that's the 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 extra wire i added but that's the factory baby blue wire and there's the yellow wire that connects in the back and that junction box there was nothing wrong with it but that single pin was burnt and i was like ah oh, you know what uh, let me just take that, cut it off, and put that uh, put that extra wire in there and see what happens, and it works. So I'll see for how long it works. I don't know why it was getting overheated or why it, it burned up a little bit. I don't know, but fixed it, so now my headlights and all that can work. But anyways, let me cut this video and have it separate, and then tomorrow I'll do this to finish the, this little video and then work on the cab. I mean, the, the hood. Talk about the hood, so... I'll see y'all tomorrow. So it's today, Saturday. Um, I knew we had two gas cans. Uh, the one that you saw over there in that area, I think, was this one. And then I, uh, on the other side of the shop over here, in the area where it's going to be my future shop, uh, I remember there was this one for the long tractor. And it's also had gas. It smelled a little rancid, but I mean, it, it's not the freshest, but that's the oldest. I pour some in there. It's roughly almost full. Uh, this is the, to prove that the, the that wire works, that gauge. So I have the the lights on. You know the interior lights. Uh, let me just. There we go. So it shows that it's at one quarter of a tank. I wouldn't doubt it, but if that's one quarter of a tank, somewhat. Uh, it wasn't five gallons, like I said, it didn't. It wasn't full, but whatever gas was left, because when I picked this truck up, it needed gas. Uh, I took five gallons over there, and since then I ran it a couple of times here and there, and I wouldn't doubt if it, the five gallons already been used up. But the uh, filled it up, maybe had a gallon left, and added the four that's in there probably, and makes it five, I guess. So it shows that a quarter. Uh, I'm gonna go buy another five more gallons and then either which way we need gas. So, uh, I'm gonna fill this nicer one with the gas for the truck and then this one just to have it as a spare. Um, so it show to show that it does, uh, mark right, sh uh, the level. Um, so. Yeah, so when I uh, bring the other five gallons, let's see how much more it goes up so I can get a accurate reading how what's the capacity of this tank. So 
I'll be right back with some extra gas, and once we pour it in, I'll see how how much it uh it'll show. All right. So I didn't put all the five gallons of the. Uh, I just came back from the gas station. Um, I didn't pour all five gallons. There's probably a gallon and a half left, but to show that it is marking working correctly, it's almost at a half tank. Almost half tank. So if I were to pour it all in, it would be exactly five gallons. So this this indicates to me that this tank is a 20 gallon uh, capacity tank, fuel tank. So. I'm good with that. I know they sell a 25 gallon. I think I would have to look, but uh, yeah, at least at least I know it's a. Uh, at least I know the capacity now. So, but yeah, she's working good. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, like I said, the wiring is nothing to it, just like the other videos. Uh, black is ground. White is the power for the light bulbs. The this is the power red wire that's connected to this also the voltometer which is connected to these other gauges the attack and speed the attack and speed my bad um all to the pink wire the signal wire which is the bottom red goes to the purple wire for the fuel from the factory uh, harness and then the blue is ground so and with the same thing with all these other ones and like i said the ground i got these Three grounds connected to the ones that are all... The ground is a ground. And I didn't feel like adding more wires than I needed to. So I connected all three to the same wire. So it would be much easier to uh, to have. At least if, if they're all connected... The reason I did that is if they're all connected to one single ground. And none of these gauges work. is because that ground, something happened to it. Instead of trying to me add another ground... If, that means if one of the gauges work or somewhat something doesn't work right, but well, shit, I gotta look for two grounds now. But make myself a little bit easier in life. So all the the panel is not complete. I just need to do this and that side. Gotta fabricate the the uh, the radio and all that stuff. But you know, right now these are the main important gauges that I need. Um, and since I have the body lift now, I can. Oh, excuse me get the uh, um, water temp sensor and the uh, what you call it the oil pressure um, sadly I won't be able to order the uh, exhaust the headers yet um, so the coolant won't be put on yet but the oil pressure I'm gonna try to get that worked on um, the, the, to the fact that little bit of the money right now is a little tight um so i'm gonna save up a little bit and like i said this is no hurry um what i might do is just probably put on those gaskets that i got from o'reilly's and put them onto the exhaust manifold but that'd be i don't want to though so anyways that's rambling in the video here so i hope y'all like the video uh like and comment subscribe hit the notification bell so y'all know what I'm going to be uploading next. <laughs> but anyways, I appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the flip side.